Welcome back to Proof of Work Coin News. This is your host, Coinology. Thanks for coming to hang out with me. If you have a moment, please go ahead and subscribe. I'm trying to get to that 600 subscriber mark. Moving over to Proof of Work Coins. Currently a BTC Bitcoin moving up just ever so slightly. Bitcoin is really moving sideways, so we have a lot of uh, small bits of green, a lot of red. Uh, right now we do have Dynex up 3.1%, sort of recovering from its free fall. Uh, Komodo is up 2.7%, Kadena is up 1%. On the other side of things, we do have XMR down 3.3%, Dash is down 3%, we have Zen token down 3.1%, and we have Caspa down 2.6%. Today I wanted to talk about the Bitcoin having coming and just essentially what you should be doing uh, with this remaining time. Um, and so as you can see, the Bitcoin having is getting ever so close, 256 days, 19 hours, 27 minutes and 11 seconds. Um, with that being said, that's about eight and a half months from now, uh, Bitcoin will be halved. Um, and if you haven't had a moment to look into the Bitcoin having and why it is uh, influential um, action that happens in the cryptocurrency environment and what happens with it. Uh, you should read about it. Uh, it's a four-year cycle. And essentially after the Bitcoin halving, uh, Bitcoin is a ticking time bomb to go parabolic. Um, and with that, typically, most cryptocurrencies rise. Uh, we go into a bull run. Um, we go into altcoin season where all these alternative cryptocurrencies are uh, just mooning. And uh, it's a very exciting time in cryptocurrency. It's a great time to realize profits. Um, I know that's something that I'm doing, not financial advice. Obviously, nobody knows when the bull run is coming. This typically is some sort of indication of it, though. Now, there's a couple of different ways to think about this. Um, so you can, you know, jump online right now and start buying some coins. Um, obviously there's a whole lot out there and, uh, the other side of things you can instead invest into hardware. There's the hardware side of things, um, as crypto hardware typically is a solid investment because it's an asset. It's typically a appreciating asset, especially, uh, in the bull run, these miners are going to be going for exponentially more as these cryptocurrencies begin to uh, realize, you know, their their all time highs and things of that nature. So my question to you is, uh, you know, are you starting to uh, simplify, you know, how many cryptocurrencies that you're actually holding? Are you are you still just kind of following the trends and things like that? Are you are you picking solid cryptocurrencies that long term in nine months, ten months, twelve months are going to be um, you know realize profits? Uh, are you purchasing GPUs? Are you purchasing uh, you know uh, ASIC miners? Are you uh, what are you doing? I'd love to know. So please put your comments down below. Uh, as for me. I have uh, picked a couple different cryptocurrencies that I want to stick to. Um, all of these cryptocurrencies, in my opinion, have like, you know, massive, massive upside. Now, I could be completely wrong, and that's why I'm diversifying and getting into a couple of different cryptocurrencies. I'm not just picking one and sticking to it. We don't know what the next Bitcoin or Ethereum is. So, uh, you know, it's a little bit of a safer, safer bet to... Uh, pick a couple of different ones, but I'm picking a couple of different chains, and then what I'm doing with that is purchasing the uh, hardware for it. That way, I am able to mine those cryptocurrencies, hold those cryptocurrencies, and throughout the bull run, I will be successful uh, still producing that cryptocurrency and being able to sell it. And the reason be behind that is I am hoping to have a really profitable, uh, you know, say, two years, two and a half years before uh, that, you know, peak comes back down. Um, and like I said, if you don't know about the Bitcoin four year halving cycle, uh, you really should look into it. It's very interesting. Like I said, it's not a sure thing, but it's a, 
a really good indicator that the bull run is somewhere near or coming soon. So let me know what you think. What are you buying? What are you doing? What are your plans? I would love to know how your minds think. Drop those comments down below. Okay, moving over to minor profitability. We currently have the 4090 in the lead, most profitable on Ergo Plus Radiant, doing 129 a day, 48 cents after power. Uh, we have the RTX 4080 on G Link, doing 83 cents revenue, 30 cents after profit. Uh, so G Link is popping back up here. Uh, we also have the 6900 XT most profitable on Dynex, doing 57 cents revenue, 27 cents profit. The 3090 most profitable on Conceal, doing 65 cents revenue, 22 cents profit. We have the CMP 170HX most profitable on Game Pass Network, doing 63 cents revenue, 20 cents profit. We have the RTX 4070 most profitable on Skydoge Net doing 38 cents revenue 16 cents profit the 7900 xtx most profitable on novo doing 57 cents revenue 14 cents after profit uh, just to let you know we also have a video on novo so if you are interested in learning a little bit more about that cryptocurrency or you're thinking about mining it consider watching our video Moving over to ASIC miners, we currently have the X16-P Jazz Miner, most profitable on NiceHash ETHash, doing 15.36 a day, 10.80 after power. Uh, we do have this SCP uh, AI coin uh, pumping currently, so we have the SC6 uh, Gold Shell Miner doing 17.96 a day, 10.04 after power. Below that, we have the Ant Miner L7. Uh, the 9500 mega hash edition doing 1366 on nice hash script 544 after power right now we also have the antminer k7 on ckb doing 1206 a day 467 after power s19 xp hydro bitmain antminer doing 1650 331 after power on nice hash shaw 256 we have the Z15 Pro, most profitable on Hushcoin. I haven't heard of that yet, but it's doing 916 a day, 302 after power. We have the Antminer KA3 on Kadena doing 992 a day, 234 after power. Last but not least, we have the Antminer E9 Pro, just kind of getting wrecked right now, doing 668 a day, 140 after power. Thank you very much to everyone that stuck around to the very end. I super appreciate you. Uh, right now we're sitting at 531 subscribers. If you want to support the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. That moves the algorithm forward. And I would super appreciate the support. If you have any feedback on what you'd like for me to talk about in the future, let me know. Thank you very much, and we'll see you tomorrow.